Hawaii's energy goal is simple. 40% of our power must come from renewable energy by the year 2030. And while that may seem like a long while off, the journey has already begun. Businesses are opting for more efficient energy use as a way to cut costs, and residents are beginning to comprehend that what they do or don't do today will affect tomorrow. A wise use of resources now will ensure we have energy today and tomorrow. Aloha and welcome to Energy Today, today's technology and energy for you. I'm Valen and in this episode, we'll be learning about solar water heating technology, amongst other things, from the folks over at Solar Help Hawaii. Then, we turn it over to Ashley for another exciting edition of Bytes TV. And finally, we'll be heading out to Waimanalo to hear from the people over at Makai Ocean Engineering. So, let's get things started with our first segment on Solar Help Hawaii. Watch this. This segment of Energy Today is brought to you by Solar Help Hawaii, here to help you. My name is Lionel Ahina, and I'm the sales manager for Solar Help Hawaii. We are a licensed contractor with the state of Hawaii. We have been installing for the past six years. We are a full service company, so we not only install, but we service what we sell. And many of the solar contractors are only into the installation process because they say there's no money in the servicing part of it. Whereas Dale, the owner of our company, is an avid supporter of servicing what we sell so that the homeowners literally don't have to seek a maintenance company, someone other than who installed the system. There's a lot of service after the sales homeowners really respect that and appreciate that so they refer their friends and families to us knowing that they would be taken care of we are again a full service company we install solar attic fans thermal pool panels as well as pv so we are a full service company in solar products we pride ourselves in our solar hot water system the concept is that you let the sun make all your hot water for you and not electricity because electricity can run your bill up by 40 percent by heating your hot water because we're in hawaii and it's pretty much summertime all year round this is a perfect grounds for heating your hot water through the sun's energy and not through crude oil and electricity which runs up your electric bill a solar hot water system can last up to 25 years. There are some moving parts in the system. Maintenance is required every five years, but it's similar to like a car where you need to change the oil or rotate the tires, which makes it possible for your system to last longer and not having it to break down on you. The amount of money that you could save in a 25 year period from your electric bill every month could wind up to be fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars of your money through that 20 or 25 years. So it's a considerable amount. The solar hot water system is comprised of solar collectors on your roof. There's a lot of copper tubings in those solar collectors and there's literally only one or two gallons in these collectors at any given time. So there's not much weight that's put on on your roof. And as the water gets heated, there's a controller that puts the hot water into the storage tank. It just keeps cycling until your tank has the necessary hot water in it. Before Dale opened up his business, he worked for a manufacturer of the solar collectors and he was the supervisor on the manufacturing of these collectors. So it's made locally on the islands, made especially for Hawaii's climate. So when Dale had the opportunity to help homeowners because there was no maintenance companies per se that helped homeowners with their repair work. The experience that he had making these collectors from ground up really helped his expertise with knowledge of the solar industry and the inner works of how it works, how it handles. 
So what the state has done was they really believe in solar hot water systems is going to be taking our state off of the dependency of crude oil. So all new homes that's being built, it's a state law that a solar hot water system has to be on that home. And I believe the homes that have solar hot water system is the highest in the nation. And it's one out of every four homes have a solar hot water system. So with the state jumping behind this program, I think it's really making Hawaii the testing grounds for the other 49 states to realize that, you know, use the sun as a natural energy instead of using crude oil to make your hot water. I've been with Solar Help Hawaii for five years, pretty much as long as Dale has been in business. And he is a very avid supporter of solar energy. And his main focus is helping homeowners realize that there is an alternative way of heating your hot water so that it can save you more money in the long run. After the break, we'll be checking in with Ashley over at Bytes TV, where she'll be highlighting a mobile app that helps you find parking virtually anywhere. All that and more after this. We've all seen the effects. There's just so many ways it costs. If only there was something we could do. It's not the end of the world. Solar Help Hawaii. Now shining in homes everywhere. Digs Hawaii, HPE Live, and Tantric Entertainment present Soul Sessions Volume 4, Valentine's Day Edition, featuring Casey and JoJo. Blackstreet. Shy. Bobby V, performing live in concert at the Neil Blaisdell Arena, Thursday, February 14th. Get your tickets online at Ticketmaster.com. Special thanks to Vacations Hawaii, Dave & Buster's, and The Modern. Got Vegas on your mind? Get Vacations Hawaii on the line. Hawaii's number one choice to Las Vegas has everything you need to get to Vegas, including new wide-body 767s with three classes of travel. Call today for all-inclusive charter, group, or custom travel packages. 591-4777. Vacation Hawaii, your reliable and direct connection to Las Vegas. At PCAT, we work and play like you do. We surf, teach, participate in charity softball games. We maintain networks and we've sailed the Pacific. We spend time with children and dream about a bright future. Actually, we do more than dream. We train motivated professionals to excel in technology fields. You don't have to go away for training. PCAT brings the resources to you. So now the ball's in your hands. Get the advanced technology training you need right here in Hawaii. Hey, welcome back. I'll be handing it over to Ashley to hear about the latest news to come out of the tech world. That's right, Bytes TV. Hey guys, it's Ashley welcoming you to Bytes TV where I'll be bringing you the latest in tech news, gadgets, and tips. In this edition, I'll be highlighting a mobile app that helps drivers park virtually anywhere. Now who wouldn't like that, right? So let's take a look at this app called Park Me. Many drivers dread those times when it just seems impossible to find parking anywhere. Well, look no further than the Park Me app. Created by a company based out of Santa Monica, California, the app helps drivers find available parking spaces from almost anywhere. The app includes filtering options so that users can customize their search results. They can search for parking according to cost, distance, and even by specific location.
Users also have the option of simply looking at all available parking within their area. One can even search for parking according to how long you plan on leaving your car parked. Once a user has chosen where they want to park, the app provides a map to that specific location. The great thing about this app is that it's free and it's compatible with Android phones and iPhones. For more information, visit their website at www.parkme.com. This segment of Bytes TV is brought to you by GameTrailer.com, your online video source for game trailers, reviews, tips, and tricks. The only thing surprising about New Super Mario Bros. 2 is that it's taken Nintendo this long to release a sequel to one of the best-selling games of all time. Mario has of course returned with a few new power-ups, and the plan for hooking players this time revolves around the irresistible impulse to collect sparkling coins. Does Mario's lust for wealth translate into another stellar platformer, or is this handheld sequel merely a pocket full of fool's gold? New Super Mario Bros. 2 wastes little time on developing the cliché narrative of Mario rescuing Princess Peach and simply focuses on what Mario games do best, serving up exhilarating run-and-jump action and trademark Nintendo tropes. The structure is lifted straight from previous installments, right down to the colorful maps with their secrets and alternate routes. It's a simple formula that's worked time and time again, but the charm is starting to wear thin. The wonderfully designed levels can hold your interest several times over as you try to collect every last hidden collectible, but Nintendo seems to be running out of creative room, unable or unwilling to try many new ideas. Despite the sense of deja vu, few other games offer stages as creative and polished as those you find here. The way characters and their environments move to the beat of the music, the clever placement of traps and enemies, and the spot-on pacing are proof that Nintendo is still the best in the business when it comes to this type of game. New Super Mario Bros. 2 does at least offer new ways to approach its classic material. Two players can play cooperatively through the entire game, making for some heated action, even if that option requires two systems and two copies of the game. A new mode called Coin Rush sends you through a set of three levels to see how many coins you can collect within a time limit. You can share your best score with friends via Street Pass, helping you raise your overall coin count in a metagame focused on reaching one million gold coins. Grabbing every last coin is addicting and works well as the game's primary hook. The biggest knock against the game is its brevity. Reaching the end of the game takes only a few measly hours, but when you factor in coin rush mode and trying to unlock all of the game's secrets, the game isn't completely lacking in longevity. played any of the previous iterations of New Super Mario Bros., then you know what to expect when it comes to the control. Tight handling for jumps and precision movement that ensures the only reason for failure is your own fault. The simple controls are suited for everyone, making this one of the most accessible games on the 3DS. Power-ups old and new, like the flight-granting leaf or the Midas touch of the gold fire flower, mix up the action at just the right times and enable the discovery of secret areas. <laughs> The only headache occurs during cooperative play. Just like in the Wii version, two characters can't occupy the same space, and it's all too easy to accidentally knock your friend to their doom. It's chaotic at times, but still makes for some great moments. That said, the levels aren't designed around cooperative play. There are no puzzles that require teamwork or alternate routes that you can only reach with the aid of a friend. And since both characters have identical abilities, playing with a friend is more a bonus than a main draw. New Super Mario Bros. 2 is truly at its best when you're playing solo, and some of the later levels in Hidden Worlds will really challenge your reflexes and skill. New Super Mario Bros. doesn't really look that new anymore, though the visuals are dressed up nicely for the 3DS. It's certainly a good-looking game, but it's not pushing the envelope creatively or technically. Rich and vibrant colors and catchy remixes of classic tunes set the tone for many of the worlds, but once again, nothing really feels truly new under Mario's son. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
the addition of coin rush and street pass functionality extend the shelf life of what would otherwise be a rather limited experience. But while there's still reasonable value here, the new Super Mario Bros. formula is losing just a little bit of its luster. Innovation and creativity don't shine as brightly as they should, but the glitter of great control and tight level design still make new Super Mario Bros. 2 tempting to pick up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. When we come back, we'll be heading over to Waimanalo to hear more on the efforts one local company has been making to harness energy from the ocean. That story is coming up after this. Digs Hawaii, HPE Live, and Tantric Entertainment present Soul Sessions Volume 4, Valentine's Day Edition, featuring Casey and JoJo. Blackstreet. Shy. And Bobby V. Performing live in concert at the Neo Blaisdell Arena, Thursday, February 14th. Get your tickets online at Ticketmaster.com. Special thanks to Vacations Hawaii, Dave & Busters, and The Modern. Got Vegas on your mind? Get Vacations Hawaii on the line. Hawaii's number one choice to Las Vegas has everything you need to get to Vegas, including new wide-body 767s with three classes of travel. Call today for all-inclusive charter, group, or custom travel packages. 591-4777. Vacations Hawaii, your reliable and direct connection to Las Vegas. At PCAT, we work and play like you do. We surf, teach, participate in charity softball games. We maintain networks and we've sailed the Pacific. We spend time with children and dream about a bright future. Actually, we do more than dream. We train motivated professionals to excel in technology fields. You don't have to go away for training. PCAT brings the resources to you. So now the ball's in your hands. Get the advanced technology training you need right here in Hawaii. Millions of people log onto the internet every day. Social media sites are the web's most popular destinations. They provide an easy way for people to stay in touch with friends and family, and even make new friends. Your company can network with clients in the same way. Our team of social media experts can help you deliver fresh and engaging content to hundreds of social media sites. The kind of content that gets clients excited about doing business with you. Emergingnewmedia.com Welcome back! Up next in our show, we're sitting down with Makai Ocean Engineering to find out more on their ocean energy research. Let's take a look! Makai, from its, its purest standpoint, is an engineering firm, an offshore engineering firm that specializes in anything related to offshore construction. Um, but over the years, we've evolved into a multifaceted business that spans from offshore engineering to cable software development, to even getting uh, more involved with ocean-based renewable energy projects, namely seawater air conditioning and ocean thermal energy conversion. OTEC is ocean thermal energy conversion. So it's thermal energy that's from heat. So we take, essentially take the heat from the ocean to make electricity. The OTEC system is similar, I can equate it similar to a, a refrigerator. In your refrigerator, you plug it into the wall and you use electricity to make your food cold inside. Most people, maybe some people don't realize that there's warm air coming out the back actually. So the electricity that you're using is producing two sources of heat or two temperatures. One is the cold air that blows inside your refrigerator and then you have hot air blowing out the back. Using electricity to produce those two temperatures. In OTEC, we already have those two temperatures. We have the warm surface water on the ocean, but then deep down, it's very cold. So we have two temperatures. And so uh, an OTEC system actually has some of the same components as your refrigerator. Uh, it has heat exchangers, it has uh, you know, some pumps. And, uh, so 
Essentially, what's happening is in an OTEC system, there's a refrigeration cycle, and this is constantly moving, and that's what's producing the electricity. The warm water and cold water are driving that system. And so when you have an ongoing cycle of, of your refrigerant around in, in the plant, uh, this is what's producing the electricity. It's essentially this uh, liquid feels the warm seawater and it starts to boil. And that, that boiling liquid produces high velocity vapor. Uh, and it, that's what's shooting through the turbine to produce the electricity. So think of it like a wind turbine. You know, it's high velocity vapor uh, going through and spinning a fan. And that's what produces the electricity. Then this vapor comes and senses the cold water side uh, in the heat exchangers and it starts to, starts to form droplets of liquid and drain down back as a liquid. Then the cycle continues. It goes back into the evaporator and then to the condenser again. So that's essentially the cycle. The recent contract that we signed with HNEI, uh, this is essentially a continuation of research that we've done in the past. Um, it's, a, it's an ongoing effort of the Navy to uh, as, include more renewables in their energy portfolio. So the, the Navy is funding it, ONR, uh, Office of Naval Research, is the source of the funding. The channels through HNEI at UH. The purpose of this contract is to develop heat exchangers uh, for OTEC purposes. And so that's our purpose uh, at Mackay, is, is uh, our creative engineers get together and brainstorm ideas on how to uh, reduce the costs of the heat exchangers. And so we come up with new ideas, and new designs, um, uh, more efficient fabrication techniques, uh, different materials. We're evaluating a lot of different materials. OTEC has had its struggles over the years of becoming a commercially viable technology. <clears throat> we know that it works, we, we've proven that. Um, uh, but there are a lot of challenges. There are technical challenges, but basically we've, we've made a lot of progress in the last several years on OTEC development. So as far as uh, getting a power plant in the water, uh, that may be sometime in the future. You know, it depends on our willingness to you know, we really have to ask the question, uh, do we really want to continue bringing uh, fossil fuels into this state, uh, just become more and more dependent on other countries to provide our energy? Uh, you know, I think we really have to stand up and say, we need to do this for ourselves because we can. OTEC is a, is a very practical uh, solution to that problem and um, because we have all the resources all around us, it's the ocean. And uh, the benefit of OTEC is that we, it's, a, it's a firm power resource. It, you know, once we turn on the OTEC power, it, it, we ramp it up to the specified rate, 100 megawatts in this case, uh, and then we just leave it at that rate. Uh, there's no dips, for example, with solar. You know, it, it stops producing electricity at night, and, and wind farms, just, they stop producing electricity when the wind stops blowing. Uh, so they're susceptible to that, but OTEC is not. It's a firm uh, base load power source. So that has its advantages, plus it doesn't uh, compete for land and uh, food resources. It'd be an offshore plant, you know, several miles offshore. It'll be maybe a speck on the, on the horizon. Um, uh, but I think OTEC has a lot of potential for Hawaii in that regard. Don't go away because Energy Today will be right back after this. Digs Hawaii, HPE Live, and Tantric Entertainment present Soul Sessions Volume 4, Valentine's Day Edition, featuring Casey and JoJo. Blackstreet. Shy. Performing live in concert at the Neo Blaisdell Arena, Thursday, February 14th. Get your tickets online at Ticketmaster.com. Special thanks to Vacations Hawaii, Dave and & Busters, and The Modern. Got Vegas on your mind? Get Vacations Hawaii on the line. 
Hawaii's number one choice to Las Vegas has everything you need to get to Vegas, including new wide-body 767s with three classes of travel. Call today for all-inclusive charter, group, or custom travel packages. 591-4777. Vacations Hawaii, your reliable and direct connection to Las Vegas. At PCAT, we work and play like you do. We surf, teach, participate in charity softball games. We maintain networks and we've sailed the Pacific. We spend time with children and dream about a bright future. Actually, we do more than dream. We train motivated professionals to excel in technology fields. You don't have to go away for training. PCAP brings the resources to you. So now the ball's in your hands. Get the advanced technology training you need right here in Hawaii. Millions of people log onto the internet every day. Social media sites are the web's most popular destinations. They provide an easy way for people to stay in touch with friends and family, and even make new friends. Your company can network with clients in the same way. Our team of social media experts can help you deliver fresh and engaging content to hundreds of social media sites. The kind of content that gets clients excited about doing business with you. Emergingnewmedia.com And that's all the time we have on this episode of NGD Today. Be sure to check us out at our Facebook and Twitter pages at the links below. And don't forget to catch us on OC16 every Mondays at 6 with re-airings throughout the week. Aloha and stay green.